Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a car guys, that video will be super helpful to you guys. Doesn't matter if it's gasoline or diesel car guys, we're going to explain the top seven reasons guys why your car overheats. So if your car overheats guys, make sure you stay until the end. We're going to start with the least expensive ones and go towards the most expensive ones. And the first ones usually will be the ones that are most common as well, but it could be one of the last ones. You never know, guys. As you can see, that engine is completely apart, guys. Every car we get at the shop will be making, guys, at least 200 videos because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. If you need to buy any parts or tools, guys, We'll have the links in the description of the video below guys for your convenience so please check it out as well so let's go ahead and start on it now so let's start now guys with uh, reason number one your why your car overheats okay reason number one guys usually you need to check guys your coolant level okay you may have an overflow bottle like that reservoir you may have a, a coolant tank or something like that guys a radiator that you need to check the level check your level guys usually you check it only cold if it's hot it could be under pressure it can severely burn you so only cold and that's when you should check your level anyways because that's uh, when you check your level only co cold coolant because when it's hot it expands and you will not get an accurate reading this is guys reason number one okay let's start with reason number two guys reason number two let's say you replace thermostat or you replace water pump radiator something guys and you did not bleed the cooling system on your car the correct way you may have air pocket in your cylinder uh, cylinder board guys or you may have uh, air pocket in the head uh, in the cylinder head this is your cylinder head and that air pocket will prevent coolant from circulating and as a result guys okay you can uh, overheat your car reason number two what about reason number three reason number three guys is super common bad thermostat this is guys the thermostat on that engine right here this is the thermostat guys right here and that's what usually the thermostat looks on the inside okay that thing this is from another car but just to show you what it looks like and thermostats usually are rated at certain temperatures like this one okay it's going to say guys 95 degrees celsius that's what this one is rated at now you can buy one that your car actually runs a little bit cooler which in my opinion is better uh, but <coughs> now if you live in a place where you pass emission tests Hotter car usually will pass emissions easier. That's why they make them nowadays to run hotter, guys, because you release less emissions. So, we're talking about these things so far, guys. Okay. What else it could be? It could be, guys, a bad radiator cap or coolant overflow bottle cap. It's the same thing, guys. Okay, every cap it's rated at certain pressure. This one says 21 psi. And as you can see, guys, 21 psi, what happens, guys? When the coolant system reaches that pressure, it's going to release some pressure out of the cap. And as a result, guys, as a result, okay, your car will not overheat. If that cap is broken, okay, it's not functioning correctly, it may not release the pressure or it may be open all the time and your system will not be able to bleed itself. Because when you turn the car off, it creates vacuum and pulls coolant in uh, different places of the engine. So it can make sure that there is everywhere coolant, guys. So bad cap can cause that as well reason number five guys okay reason number five is super common as well radiator fan that doesn't work if your fan doesn't work guys your car sooner or later will overheat so what are guys the top four reasons why a fan doesn't work it could be the fan motor itself this is a fan control module this is the brains for the fan and that uh, thing controls the speeds as well guys it could be a bad relay bad fuse every car we get at the shop guys okay we're going to have videos for the fuses relays and fans on our new channel electrical car repair live so check it out guys we're we're sharing quite a bit of helpful information on that channel so so far guys five reasons what about reason number six guys reason number six will be a bad water pump and water pump can fail in a few ways one is it can start leaking from the shaft and get play second you have a, a, a plastic fan in most cases on the inside and that fan will break off sometimes and it will not circulate the coolant and your car will overheat another way guys okay same engine but put together is right here it could be guys okay you know most of the uh, most of the water pumps are driven by the serpentine belt if the belt falls off your pump will not turn your car will overheat some of them are electric pumps bmw likes to use electric water pumps and they have even auxiliary secondary pumps as well uh, we have videos on those guys a little bit more complicated and reason number seven guys 
you just hope this is not the case reason number seven okay it's actually i put three reasons under one why because all of them have the same symptoms first guys bad head gasket this is your head gasket right here this is your pistons and cylinders here this is where your coolant antifreeze is guys and if it fails it's going to blow compression and hot gas in the coolant and as a result the car will overheat and it will build quite a, build quite a bit of pressure in the cooling system but what else could have the same symptoms as bad head gasket it could be guys a cracked cylinder head okay cylinder head guys that is cracked okay can cause the same symptoms as a bad uh, bad head gasket so this thing is hard to test usually you have to take it to a shop to test them and reason number uh, three under that reason number seven guys it could be a cracked engine block too so that could be the reason as well quite a few things guys can lead to that but we have videos guys how to diagnose head gasket and all that stuff check it out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time